So here's the seat post. It's already got the saddle installed on it. I'll have to adjust uh, the, the proper saddle uh, forward and backward uh, position. And uh, then we'll just stick the seat post in here. Oop, looks like I need to loosen the uh, seat post collar. Okay, so I got the seat post in. Let me step back here. The bike is looking mostly complete now. Uh, I need to put the pedals on. Here's the pedals that came with this bicycle. Most bicycles don't come with pedals. This bicycle did, so that's sort of nice. If, uh, if you like just regular old pedals and not clipless pedals, then uh, this is fine. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Uh, as far as I know, most all bicycles uh, are threaded in such a way that the left side, uh, in other words, the non-drive side, because the drive side is the side with the, with the chain, and I think pretty much all bikes have the chain on the right side of the bicycle. Sorry, I'm shivering a little bit. I'm pretty darn cold here. Ugh, I can't wait till summer and go riding again. Uh, so when you thread a pedal on the left side of the bicycle here, uh, it's backwards, it's reverse threaded. And by reverse threaded, I mean you, you put it in and then looking from, you know, from here, like when you're normally screwing something in with a screwdriver or something, is reverse threaded. So when you stick it in here, you're going to want to turn it left, uh, counterclockwise that is. So see, I'm just screwing it on now. Uh, you could use a, uh, pedal, a pedal wrench. Uh, it can sometimes make things a little easier too. You're just gonna, I don't know if I'm even turning the thing here. But so you just screw that on. Um, and then on the right side of the, uh, on the bike, it's the correct way, or by that I mean it's the, uh, uh, you turn it to the right uh, clockwise and it will screw in for you. Uh, so, uh, let me just go ahead and do that real quick. Alright, so I got the pedals on. Uh, I'm gonna go back through here and probably do this after I shoot these videos. And, and do it with, uh, the, the, uh, the pedals, are, uh, that I want to put on, uh, the crank here myself and all my accessories. And like I said, I'm gonna do a real quick video with that too. Uh, but I got the pedals on anyway, and looking back here, uh, when I said left thread, right thread, it made me think of lock rings, uh, for instance, on a, uh, on a fixed cog for a fixed gear sort of a bicycle. Uh, this bicycle said online that it came with a, uh, a freewheel, which allows you to coast, and it does, but it also comes with, and I didn't realize this, it also comes with a fixed cog here, and uh, you can see the lock ring, that's that little thing here on the end. It also came with a fixed cog, so that's awesome. Uh, it didn't say that online. Uh, I have a lot of uh, free wheels and fixed cogs already, uh, so it's not really a big deal for me, but, uh, and I don't know, it's probably some generic quality, but that's cool, you know, I didn't expect that. That's, you know, an extra 20 bucks or something, maybe, worth, uh, worth added to the, I mean, it wasn't listed on the specs, so that's really sort of a cool little, uh, surprise. Okay, so, um, what's left? I guess just the reflectors. Uh, so let's go ahead and stick the reflectors on this bicycle.